Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to solve for x greater than or equal to minus 180 degrees but less than 180 degrees. The equation tan of x minus 40 degrees equals 1.5, giving your answers to one decimal place for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, then just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all then, let's just put down the question. That is that we've got the tangent or tan of x minus 40 degrees equals 1.5. And what I'd want to do is take the inverse tan of both sides. And that's going to mean that therefore I get x minus 40 degrees equals the inverse tan of 1.5. Now at this stage, rather than just jumping on the calculator, seeing what I get, I'm just going to plan ahead. I'm going to think about my range here for x. We know that x has got to lie in this interval from minus 180 degrees to 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do is now subtract 40 from each of these three values. So therefore, if I subtract 40 degrees from minus 180 degrees, I get minus 220 degrees. Subtracting 40 degrees from x gives me x minus 40 degrees. And subtracting 40 degrees from 180 degrees gives me 140 degrees. So this is the kind of range of values that I'm looking for x minus 40 degrees to be in. So I'm going to draw a quadrant diagram to illustrate this. I think it's a lot easier than using a graphical method. If you want to check out quadrant diagrams, just check them out on my website and uh, plenty of tutorials on that. So we'll start with naught degrees here in the usual way. We're looking at the tangent of an angle equals a positive value, 1.5. And tangent is positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So we draw two lines equally inclined to the horizontal line here. So it's one there and one there. So marking these two angles as being exactly the same size. So the angles that we require for x minus 40 have got to lie in this range here from minus 220 degrees to 140 degrees. Well, I can see that one of them has got to be this one round to here, starting at naught, going to the first blue line. That is a possible solution for x minus 40 degrees. Now, if I was to start again from here and turn all the way around to this blue line, I can see that that is going to be an angle which is going to be more than 180 degrees. And I've got to have x minus 40 degrees being less than 140 degrees. So clearly I can't turn around to here. But I can go the other way. Okay, I can see that this angle turning from here right the way around onto the blue line is going to be a negative angle and it's clearly going to be less than minus 220 degrees. Remember to turn halfway would be minus 180 degrees. Okay, so this is another possible x minus 40 degrees. I noticed that we should put degrees there. Okay, so let's use the calculator now and see what we get. Make sure your calculator is in degrees mode and what we get for x minus 40 degrees. When you use your calculator, you'll find you get 56.3099 and so on if you inverse tan 1.5. So that's measured in degrees then. And that's going to correspond with this turn here. And that means that this little blue angle in here will be 56.3099. And that means that this one here will also be 56.3099. 3099 and so on. Okay, so that will help us get the green x minus 40. 
because all I've got to do is just take this away from 180 degrees. But remember, it's going to give us a negative term. So 180 degrees minus 56.3099 gives us 123.690, but we're turning in the negative sense. So what we get is an alternative answer is minus 123.690. And so on okay degrees so if I now add 40 degrees to each of these two answers that's going to bring us into this range so adding 40 degrees to this 56 degree angle is going to give us 96.3099 and so on degrees and adding 40 degrees to minus 123 is going to give us minus 83.690 and so on degrees. And if we give our answers now to one decimal place, it therefore means that x equals 96.3 degrees. And for this one here, minus 83.7 degrees. And both of these angles, okay, both to one decimal place, one dp for short. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea then how to tackle problems like this.